Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. This time we're looking at the SH Figure Arts Han Solo. And before we get into it, just want to briefly just say, I know it's been a little while since my last video. I only got one video out in January. It is now nearly halfway through February. Um, just been pretty busy with the podcast and dealing with other things. So if you're, if you're interested to follow me uh, as well uh, on the podcast, uh, youtube.com forward slash Star Wars Go Figure. Um, and all over social media and stuff as well. Just hunt down Star Wars Go Figure. And you can find me there as well. So when I'm not putting content up here on this channel, I'm doing stuff over there as well. So go and check that out. So I do have a bunch of new Star Wars SH Figure Arts figures I would like to like to have a chat about. So we're starting with Han Solo from The Force Awakens. And it's, it's safe to say now... Uh, for his brief cameo in uh, The Rise of Skywalker 2. So this is a just a absolutely fantastic figure. I'm so glad I was able to pick this one up. Um, just because uh, that likeness is incredible. It's just absolutely dead on. They couldn't have uh, they couldn't have got that looking any better. Uh, accessory wise, he does come with his blaster, which he's holding in his hand. Uh, the holster is removable and replaceable with a molded blaster in holster there, so you could display him without having the blaster. Um, Personally, I think that's where Black Series wins is they make the holster usable. Um, so you can still have an open holster. It doesn't really matter. I'm not sure why Bandai do that, but it's okay. He does come with fisted hand. He might have come with two. Um, it's just in my accessory box. Two sort of just relaxed hands. And of course, his uh, trigger finger hand, sporting his uh, DL44. I really like um, Harrison Ford's interpretation of Han Solo in the sequels. Um, he was just absolutely Han Solo. You couldn't get any more Han Solo. Um, it just it's like he stepped straight back in off the uh, the original films when he came back in The Force Awakens. Older, a little wiser, not necessarily not necessarily smarter. <laughs> um, still trying to swindle his way around the galaxy, but the outfit was great, and they've done a really good job with this figure. Um, yeah, I'm just really really impressed with this one. Give him some great poses. It's not a great deal in terms of weathering. It's all very dependent on the sculpt um, of each piece of this figure. Paintwork looks great. Just the colours look really, really nice. If you get a nice shadows cast over the figure, it sort of changes the colour anyway. So just based on the way the light distributes over the figure. His boots, they look good. His pants and his uh, his belt. He's all the way into the back. And he's pretty much got this standard articulation for SH Figure Arts, which is you know basically everywhere. Um, it's pretty good. I enjoy. I really, really like this figure. Um, really nice addition to the SH Figure Arts collection, and definitely recommend picking this one up if you're uh, if you're into it. Next up, we're looking at Luke Skywalker from Crate from the Last Jedi. So stay tuned for that. Till next time, may the Force be with you.